Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our Pediatric Sonography Registry Review. Feel free to pause the video after asked a question. If you don't have time to answer it before I answer it, let's dive into this thing. What does this image show in an eight-year-old patient who presents with jaundice, abdominal pain, and a temperature of 101 degrees? A, cholidocal cyst, B, gallbladder sludge, C, gallbladder empyemia, or D, cholecystitis? I'll play it one more time. The answer is A, cholidocal cyst. Which is located in the lowermost portion of the falx cerebri and runs superiorly to help form the straight sinus? A, transverse sinus. B, vein of Galen. C, inferior sagittal sinus, or D, superior sagittal sinus. The answer is B, vein of Galen. Which transducer should be used when evaluating the superior sagittal sinus? A, phased, B, convex, C, linear, or D, vector. The answer is C, linear. The pediatric pancreas will have similar echo textures to what other organ? A, kidney, B, adrenal gland, C, liver, or D, spleen? The answer is liver. So pediatric pancreases will be more hypoechoic than the liver. Then as you get older, the pancreas will be more hypoechoic than the liver. Click the area of the spinal cord where the conus medullaris will start to become tethered. So the spinal cord will start to become tethered just below L2, L3. And in this image, this is T12, L1, L2, L3. So the spinal cord will start to be tethered just below this area. And you can look at the spinal cord here and it's starting to tether right here. So anywhere along here will be correct. Which best describes the sonographic appearance of a neuroblastoma? A. Small homogeneous mass containing areas of calcification and hemorrhage. B. Large heterogeneous mass containing areas of calcification and hemorrhage. C. Solid hyperechoic or heterogeneous mass that may contain calcification. Or D. Solid or hypoechoic or homogeneous mass that may contain calcification. The answer is B, large heterogeneous mass containing areas of calcification and hemorrhage. Click on the supracellar cistern. The supracellar cistern is right here and these hypoechoic regions are the peduncles. What is the most common cause of hydronephrosis in the neonate? A. Ureterocil B. Autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease C. Ureteral pelvic junction obstruction 
or is it deep kidney failure? The answer is C, ureteral pelvic junction obstruction. Which is true regarding varicocils? A, usually bilateral because of the extended length of both testicular veins. B, usually unilateral found on the left side, but when found on the right, secondary varicocil is present. C, usually unilateral found on the right side, but when found on the left, secondary varicocil is present. Or is it D, usually bilateral because both testicular veins have a decreased vascular pressure. The answer is B, usually unilateral found on the left side, but when found on the right, secondary varicocil is present. This condition is associated with what syndrome? A. Herlin Werner Wunderlich syndrome, B. Von Hippel Landau syndrome, C. Prune Belly syndrome, or D. Meek syndrome. The answer is A. Herlin Werner Wunderlich syndrome. And this image represents a didelphic uterus. Which best describes the sonographic appearance of a multicystic kidney disease? A. Bilateral small dysplastic kidneys. B. Bilateral enlarged echogenic kidneys. C. Bilateral smooth walled with cysts of varying sizes. Or is it D. Unilateral smooth walled with cysts of varying sizes? The answer is D, unilateral smooth walled with cysts of varying sizes. Which artifact can be seen on the anterior portion of the bladder displayed as equally spaced bright reflectors? A, beam width, B, slice thickness, C, reverberation, or D, acoustic enhancement? The answer is C, reverberation. Which should be identified first before diagnosing a unilateral renal agenesis? A, contralateral compensatory hypertrophy. B, any possible metastasis to the liver and other organs. C, ectopic kidney in the pelvis. Or D, ipsilateral compensatory hypertrophy. The answer is C, ectopic kidney in the pelvis. What does this image demonstrate? A, intussusception, B, umbilical hernia, C, pyloric stenosis, or D, Crohn's disease. The answer is umbilical hernia. What should be evaluated in the presence of a non-functioning multicystic dysplastic kidney disease? A. Contralateral compensatory hypertrophy. B. Ipsilateral compensatory hypertrophy. C. Ipsilateral ureter obstruction. Or D. Contralateral ureter obstruction. The answer is A, contralateral compensatory hypertrophy. When evaluating the sonographic appearance of the pancreas, what should be evaluated to compare? A, the liver, B, spleen, C, kidney, or D, adrenal gland? The answer is A, liver. Which best describes the sonographic appearance of an ectopic thymus? A. Irregularly defined hyperechoic mass with small microcalcifications. B. Well-defined hypoechoic mass 
with small septa in its interior. C, well-defined hyperechoic mass with small septa in its interior. Or is it D, irregularly defined hypoechoic mass with small microclassifications? The answer is B, well-defined hypoechoic mass with small septa in its interior. What does it mean to have diastematomelia? A, cyst in the phylum terminale. B, echogenic mass within the spinal cord. C, spinal cord divides into two hemicords. Or is it D, protrusion of the meninges through the vertebral defect? The answer is C. Spinal cord divides into two hemichords. Which is the most common sarcoma in children? A. Neurosarcoma B. Rhabdomyosarcoma C. Angiosarcoma or D. Leiomyosarcoma The answer is B. Rhabdomyosarcoma what does this image demonstrate? A, normal MCA, B, MCA occlusion, C, MCA stenosis, or is it D, MCA vasospasm? The answer is D, MCA vasospasm. And vasospasm should be suspected when you have a peak systolic velocity greater than 200 centimeters per second. If any of you have any questions about your upcoming pediatric sonography boards, feel free to reach out to me at ultrasoundboardview at gmail.com or you can personally text or call at 435-922-1635. If you're looking for extra study material, go to my website, type in Google Ultrasound Board of View, click at the top here, Click enter the pass zone. Scroll down until you see pediatric sonography mock exams. Click on that. Scroll down and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.